Hey guys, uh, got a request to do this video. Uh, and it's basically how to make a long burning uh, match. Um, you can make these waterproof as well, or at least water resistant. And they do work uh, with this method, but this method actually gives a nice long burn time. What you need, strike on box matches, better yet, strike anywhere matches. I can't get those locally, so I, didn't get, I couldn't get those. I didn't want to order them. You'll need some toilet paper. Yeah, um, you're gonna need scissors, and you're gonna need wax of some sort. I use these little uh, um, tea candles; they're inexpensive and pretty cheap. But I want to show you first before I get to show you the process of making them, how well they work and how long they burn. Pardon me here, these are some of my first uh, attempts at making these, so they're a little bit rough. That's why I'm testing with them. Let's strike it on the box. Hopefully I get a nice burn going here, and then I'll leave it on there on top of those two screws so you can watch it burn while I make the, while I make the uh, matches. First take a piece of toilet paper, then you take your match. And it's such a simple process. Don't cover up the match head. I actually like getting as close to the match head as possible, just leaving just a tiny bit of uh, the match stick sticking out. And let's wrap it up. Now, if you're very uncomfortable when it comes around dealing with hot things, especially hot wax, well, you might want to use uh, pliers or something to dip them in the wax. But you just dip them in the wax. I just let it drip off a little bit. I normally have wax paper set aside, but today I don't. Make sure you get it completely covered. And then since I didn't have any wax paper in hand when I started this video, I'm just using this old CD case. And again, I'll show you this process a few more times. Because it's going to take quite a while for this uh, match to burn completely down. You can tell when I started it and how long it's going. This one's not going to be as good as the other ones because a piece of paper wasn't the greatest, but... Be nice to have a hot plate, uh, just hot enough to keep your uh, wax from melting. Or from, uh, not melting, keep your wax melted, but not to uh, cause it to flash, start smoking. I don't have that luxury. I'd normally be doing this right by my stove. Pretty close to it. I got an electric stove so it's a little bit safer. You'll notice that the toilet paper wicks up this candle wax quite effectively. That's a nice... I use a double ply. Um, I recommend using a double ply. I've not experimented around with this process a whole lot. But I imagine uh, you could probably make these a lot thicker if you really wanted to. I don't know why, because they actually burn, I don't know, a couple minutes. That's pretty, pretty nice burn time. It's still burning there in there. Again, I made four matches in that time. I think I got enough material toilet paper cut up here to make like eight or ten but a normal piece of toilet paper like this will get you uh one just one little little sheet will get you uh four matches because you can cut them up into quarters Just so you guys get an idea of how long they'll last. I mean, how much of supplies you'll need. I mean, it's really not all that much. And your results may vary, but I don't think they will. If anybody's got a line on uh, Strike Anywhere matches, which won't cost me an arm and a leg to ship, let me know. 
Because like to get some, just to have on hand, and I just find it ridiculous that in this day and age, you can't get strike strike anywhere matches locally. You can go and get those stormproof ones, or you can go and get the. Uh, and part of the noise made by my cat. Uh, or get the waterproof ones. And basically what you're doing is, you know, you see those Coleman waterproof matches. What you're doing is, uh, all they do is like stick a, like a waxy material over the tip. That keeps the water up. But once it goes past the tip, uh, if your matches get wet, that wood, it will not burn the wood. So you're better off doing a method like this. But if you just wanted the tips uh, waterproof, you can just dump the tip of the match stick in the wax and I'll keep the tip dry or if you don't need the long burning matches you can just take and uh, dunk a whole match stick in there and I'll keep the whole match stick uh, dry if it gets wet So there you go. I mean, it's a quick and easy way to do matches. I mean, 10 I think. Not too bad. But there you go. I'm doing this because a couple people asked. Warthog and Justano. Thanks for watching.